What's going on guys? Welcome to a new video and welcome back to the kitchen. A lot of you have been wanting cooking and baking videos and today you're getting kind of an unboxing, cooking, baking, tech, lifestyle video all in one. This video is sponsored so thank you so much to Brava for sponsoring this video but also thank you to Brava because I don't cook. In the past year and a half, two years, I have probably saved tens of thousands of dollars by actually cooking myself and enjoying cooking. First things first, we are going to unbox the Brava. Now if you're not familiar, the Brava is an infrared red oven, which is small enough to fit on your counter. It cooks food thoroughly, quickly, deliciously, and you can control it with an app. Now, like I said, I have been using this product for the past two years, but I wanted to give you guys the full and complete start to finish unboxing to eating the food. Let's just unbox it, okay? I'm gonna put this on the ground. The first thing you open when you see is this nice little instruction manual. Also on the top we have a what's included, which is Brava glass tray, a temp sensor, and a Brava metal tray. It's so nice and clean. So let's see what's included in the package. So the temp sensor is actually really cool. There's a place where you just stick it inside the Brava and say you're making chicken or steak or fish. You put this in the thickest piece and let you know when it is cooked to completion. We have the glass tray. And something that I didn't know for an embarrassingly long time was that this on the top of the Brava is actually made put the hot trays on. And metal tray. All right, well, let's plug it in. So here on the screen is where I'm now going to connect to my Wi-Fi. While this does its update, I also have a bunch of other accessories that we can unbox. Just in case you guys need more pan options, they have them. In the Brava app, there are thousands of recipes that chefs and people have already created and added, and usually I just follow them because I'm not gonna lie, they're the professionals. I am not the professional. You can create recipes of your own, but I think for today, I'm going to do something that already exists. There are these blueberry muffins that I have been eyeing up, but now that I have the muffin pan, I'm going to make these blueberry muffins, and it is still breakfast time, so I'm going to try an omelet as well as some potatoes. So that is on the recipe for today. It looks like I can now sign into my account. So here is on the screen where you can have all of your different options. And once you use this a lot, the recents will show up. As you can see, I have already made a lot of cauliflower, white bread, tater tots, a lot of cauliflower, and a lot of breakfast sandwiches. Now it is time to actually make the blueberry muffins. I actually went ahead last night and did the first step with making the streusel because it needed to be frozen so that it had that texture. Now we're gonna go and make the muffins. First things first. In a medium bowl, stir together bread flour, baking powder, and salt. In another bowl, whisk together milk, canola oil, butter, granulated sugar, eggs, and vanilla extract. I'm gonna start preheating. We will now add it to here. Not all recipes require preheating. Obviously, this is baking, like for the eggs and other things like that. You do not need to preheat, which is great. We then add in a cup and a half of blueberries. We fold them in. Now it's time to line the muffin pan. Now I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I didn't have any cupcake liners, so I went over to my friend's house and I got some of these very spooky liners. It is almost Halloween before I'm filming this. Okay, now we need to fill these three-fourths of the way full. Okay, that's like 100% full, Jenna. Slide the muffin pan into the top shelf. Push the button. And now we wait! Now, we got the muffins cooking and now it's gonna be breakfast time. So the potatoes are something that the Brava does an incredible job with. Ooh, I almost cut my finger off. Also on the app, it will show you what's happening, which is really cool too, because if you need to pause the cook for any reason, you can actually pause it. But if you want to resume it, you need to be near the physical Brava to resume it, which makes sense. You also don't need to use your phone. You can also search by just typing it in. So here I typed in, well, I started to type in potatoes. Here's also all the other options you can make with the potatoes, which is cool. So this is probably the closest option to what I have. So I'm gonna say that they are halved. Go ahead and select the next option, full zone of potatoes. Our muffins are almost done. Let's get ready for potato time. Let's just take a little peek inside to see how our muffins are doing. Also, highly recommend if you ever want to open this up, hit the button first, pause it, and watch your eyes because this is infrared, so it's very bright. You look good, keep, keep doing what you're doing. Great work. All right, now for the main event, it is going to be omelet time. This takes the least amount of time, so I figured I would prepare it last. We need four eggs. We also need the square pan. Usually I do three, 
but we love extra protein. We then need to grease the pan. We then pour this into the pan. Let's take a look. Like, are you kidding me? These look pretty good to me. Let's take a look at how the potatoes are doing. I actually think they're done. Oh yeah, these are perfect. Look at those potatoes. Now say you are using different things like other stoves and different ovens. One of the things that I do love about the Brava is I use it as the keep warm feature. So say I wasn't ready for my potatoes, I could just put them back in, hit keep warm, and it won't be cooking them, it will just be keeping them at the temperature it's supposed to. So here we have the omelet I'm gonna be making. I can hit right here. It then has sent to the Brava, and it's ready for me. So it's going to pause in a couple minutes and that's when I'll add what I want to the omelet, which is gonna be spinach, cheese, and some tomatoes. Okay, it's time to add our fillings. All right, I don't want too many tomatoes. So just a couple little tomatoes in the center. So much cheese, it hurts. And it is almost time for a feast. This is so nice. I got one more roll. Come on, just do it. Just do it. This is the best seasoning I have ever had, but it's salt, pepper, and garlic, but there's just something about it. It's so incredible. The taste test. Potatoes. Mmm, mmm. It's so good. The omelet is perfect. Very good. I was worried it would be like a little dry, but it's actually perfect. Muffin time. Look at this gooey deliciousness. Mmm. So I just wanted to make a video and show you guys what I have been using for the past two years, like I said, especially being at home so much, this has been a game changer. I do not cook, I do not bake, but with this, I now cook and bake. So this was just what I wanted to make today. There are so many different other recipes you can explore. There's so many things you can cook together so that the meal is done all at the same time. You can do your vegetables, you can do fish, you can do steak, you can do it all at the same time. Thank you so much to Brava for sponsoring this video and also just genuinely thank you for making this product because it really has changed my life. If you guys wanna check out more information, there's gonna be a link in the description. I will see you guys again soon for a new video, but right now I'm gonna go have some breakfast. This is a very full plate. I'm excited.